So let's talk through what you do after you press publish on a new piece of content. And when I say a piece of content, I'm talking about a piece of content that is worth distributing forever. What do you do? How do you embrace that model? How do you embrace the idea of creating once and distributing forever? So it's day one, you press publish. You're gonna send out a tweet. You're gonna put that post up on your Twitter account with a link, of course, to the post. You're gonna share that not only on your company account, but you're also gonna share it on your personal account. You're gonna take that same piece of content and you're gonna share it on LinkedIn. You're gonna share it on LinkedIn on your personal account, but also on your company account. You're also going to share that same piece of content in your Slack, your internal community that you use to communicate with your employees your team, everybody on your squad, you're gonna share it there because what you want to happen is everyone in your company, on your team, to start liking and sharing and interacting with it on all of the various social media platforms. So you're gonna make sure that you include a link in that post that you share on your Slack to those various social media posts that are promoting that asset that you've created. Now, what do you do next? You're not gonna end there. Most people would have ended just with the tweets and just with the posts, but you're gonna keep going. You're gonna now take that same post and you're gonna send it in an email to the people who you mention in the piece. If you are talking about anyone, any company, any individual, if you're referencing a blog post, an article, an essay, a journal, a study that somebody else has done, you're gonna reach out to them and let them know that you promoted them and you amplified them, you wrote about them, etc. Why? Because they might just share that on their account. And if they're an influencer, that means that you have the opportunity to reach more people. But again, you're not gonna end there. There's more opportunities. You're going to send a DM to everybody who is a friendly. You're gonna send a message to some of the people who are people who have supported you in the past. You're gonna let them know that you just press publish on this piece of content. But again, you're not just done there. You're going to send out an email to everybody who has subscribed to your newsletter, letting them know that this piece of content is live. Is that it? No, you're not done yet. You're still going to distribute this content. You are going to send this content to your sales team because you want your sales team to reach out to any prospect that is hot, any prospect that is warmer, even any prospect that has gone cold, and you're gonna get them to write them an email that says, hey, we just published this piece and I think you're gonna find it valuable and they're going to distribute your content for you as well. That is all happening in day one. On day two, you're gonna to continue to distribute that content. What are you gonna do? You're gonna go into a community. You're gonna find a forum. You're gonna find a place where your community, the people you're trying to reach, your ideal customers, are online. It could be a Slack group. It could be a Facebook group. It could be a Discord group. You're gonna go into this group and you're gonna share that content directly in that community. You're gonna understand what those communities want before you share it because you don't wanna get blocked and kicked out of there by Felicia. You don't want that to happen. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna understand what type of content they want, then you're gonna see it in those communities and then they're gonna engage with it. They're going to interact with it. Again, you're still not done. You have remembered there is this site called Reddit. It's one of the most popular websites on the world. You're going to find a subreddit, a sub community where your audience is also spending time. And you're going to understand what type of content they want. And you're going to include that link to your article in that subreddit post. Are you done yet? No, this is all happening on day two. Fast forward, let's say day three, you're gonna repost that same piece of content on Twitter, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, but you're gonna write your post differently, but you are going to reference the exact same article that you published two days ago. Again, you're not only gonna do that in the morning, you're probably gonna do it in the night as well because you know these people who are online in the evening aren't the same people who are online in the morning, and you wanna give this content as much reach as possible. Ross, are we done yet? No, almost though. You're gonna to go to a site called Quora and you're gonna see if anybody is asking questions that your posts, your piece of content actually answers. You're gonna find those questions and you're gonna answer those questions while answering them, you're gonna reference your article, the piece of content that you've developed. Are you done yet? Almost. You're also gonna take that same piece of content and you're gonna to start to remix it. This is happening on day four, day five, day six, day seven, and thereafter. You're gonna turn it into a carousel. You're gonna turn it into a YouTube video. You're gonna turn it into a slide share. You're gonna turn it into an Instagram story. You're gonna turn it into a reel. And you're gonna turn it into a whole bunch of different assets that can be spread across a wide range of different channels. Are you done yet? No. You're also gonna take that original piece and you're gonna upload it to medium.com. You're also gonna take that original piece and you're gonna upload it to LinkedIn Pulse. And you're going to have a call to action in that piece that references the original article and also includes an embedded piece of content. What's embedded, what does that mean? It means that video that you recorded about that same fire piece of content that you created five, six, eight, nine days ago, a YouTube video about that piece of content is now gonna go inside of that piece of content that you created and then you start to have inception and now you're gonna start ch chopping up that video and turning it into audiograms and turning those audiograms into social tweets and this is why folks I say you create once and you can distribute forever.